long to take her hair out since it's been there in there since like the 90s. But we're doing it. My cat just came in. Her, oh, her hair is dry and very, very crimped. Whoa. Buffy. Hi, kitty. Buffy, come here. Come here. Someone asked to see you, Buffy. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. It's really dry and kind of messy, though, so I'm probably going to have to brush it, which is kind of sad. And I, I don't know. It feels like I should need to hot water dunk it, but if I hot water dunk it, I know it probably won't have Molly's curl. And she kind of has, the old Pleasant Company dolls don't have hair in the middle, they just had hair on the sides, I guess. She doesn't have hair? Oh, that's weird. So that's, okay. Then why does Josephina have hair? She's not that old of a Pleasant Company doll. I don't really know why everyone thinks the Pleasant Company dolls are so high quality. Here, let me stand it up a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera is falling. This is what her hair looks like out of the braids. I think you can brush it and style it, because Willow doesn't have hair in the middle either. Oh, yeah. And her hair is still pretty manageable, and it can look okay. Who was it's that? probably just because her hair is parted in the middle that it's so noticeable, because Samantha doesn't have that much hair either. Why are they called Pleasant Company Dolls? My sister just asked if they're called Pleasant Company Dolls. I'm going to tell you just in case you were wondering. Pleasant... T. Rowland started the company. There's kind of two reasons, almost. So it was Pleasant's company. But it was also supposed to be a reminder that dolls and books serve girls to at, at for Pleasant Company. I'm going to get my brush because this is pretty matted hair. Uh -huh. Oh, here's my brush. <laughs> going to tilt you down a little so y'all can actually see a little. That will help you if you're trying to figure out how old your doll is. Is what the limbs are made out of. How squishy they are. Hers are kind of a rubber squishy feeling. The stitching color. Hers is a white stitch. I need to turn the light on in here. And the lip color. If they don't have much lip color, then they're probably earlier. So I have my stuff. I have my magic eraser to clean all her limbs. And some shampoo. And I need to go get my wire brush. That I'm just going to do her hair. I don't know if I'll be able to film much of it because it's kind of hard to use just one hand for everything. I love cleaning doll limbs. Ew, that's from one leg. Ew. Okay, well, I'm not going to film the rest because it's kind of hazardous for me, but yeah. Whenever you shampoo and condition your doll hair, the first thing you're going to want to do is completely wet the hair. I'm going to try not to do your because I don't want them to get the wood cap to soak and make the good come off. Try not to get the eyes wet either. Okay, so it's not even that wet. I'm trying not to stand up on it because I'm going to matter when the dye is wet. that, I need some shampoo. This is restoring shampoo for long split ends, which is basically what she has. Also a little disclaimer, in the rest of this video there is going to be eyeless, limbless, headless, and basically everything else is dolls, just so you can't say I didn't tell you. There you go. Look how foamy that is. That nice. It's like, now I'm gonna brush through this and show you in a while. And then I'll not show you in a while, shampoo. shampooing and then brushing it and it looks so much better. I'm going to go ahead and shampoo it and show you after that. I'm a little worried about this. It's just a number four on the bottom of her foot. 
it kind of scares me, honestly, and I don't really know what I'm going to do about it, but if I die here, I hope it goes away, so yeah, that's an update. So I just, like, took her head off and put it by the fan. I put it up in some curlers to try to fix her hair from getting so... And I think it'll work. And I'm just going to use this bag they gave us to keep the other body parts. So, here's her body. Um, I need you... Oh, oh, for all of those asking if you can see my kitty, here she is. Oh, look at the camera, baby. Oh, look at the baby! And that hand belongs to my sister, <laughs> who is listening to music. Say hi. Hello there. Ooh. If you know what that's from, comment it, okay? I'm just gonna take her pants off and start stuffing, unstuffing her. I don't really know how to film this though, so... She's unstuffed. Oddly, I've done it so many times, it's like fun to unstuff dolls, if that even makes sense. Like, does it? I don't know. So yeah, this is the body. If you, I'm trying to show you how you take the limbs off. You see these little gold clampy thingies? You just clamp them the wrong side, like this, and pull them off with pinch your plier things. Then you take off the tension, and the arm should drop off. Then you heat it up, and you can get out the other tension gun. I'm probably going to use boiling water, because I don't know if I own a hair dryer or where it is, or anything like that. So, this is the body. I don't realize how gross this is. I, like, took the head down to show my dad, because he hadn't seen Molly, and he was just like, oh, it's a head. I was like, yeah, it's a... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that that could gross some people out, because, I don't know, I guess I'm used to it. I took the arms off, and the legs off, and I'm so scared that I'm not going to be able to get them. Well, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. Oh, I have an idea. I got the wig off. I also have rinsed it off. Just to make sure that all the nail polish I used, I did use non acetone, which I should probably put the lid on. And here's the head. It's kind of scaring me how much she looks like the Abaddon like this, with the Maspen Heights. Get a teeny bit of water in her eyes. But I wiped it out, and it should be okay, I think. The only recipe you in a long time, and I am planning to take her eyes out tomorrow, so I'm making progress. I'm probably gonna hot water dunk the head, and I'm probably not gonna film that either. Sorry, but I'm not filming a whole lot, it's just easier if I don't film. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I stuck the wig back on her head because I remember there were a couple things I didn't really get to say that I wanted to say. So, this is the part of the video where I say, Oh, yeah, her head just fell off. That's normal, that's normal. First of all, if you don't have to wig swap your dolls, then don't just randomly take off their wigs. It was probably took me like a half an hour because I found a weak spot and I was able to just... Uh, I found a weak spot in the... right here. And I was able to just kind of work it all the way around. Second of all, I boil washed her hair, like I said I was going to do. Look how beautiful it looks now. It is so pretty. Probably won't eye swap her until tomorrow. Take her eyes out just until tomorrow because it takes time. But I want to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. So yeah. So this is what I got at Hobby Lobby. This is the Rich Dye More Synthetic in the color of Chocolate Brown. You have to use this dye or it won't really stick to the vinyl. My mom used to do lots of fabric dyeing so she was able to help me out a lot. And that's the color I set out on. I have a super small store though so that was really the only color they had. And we also, so this took so long to find. This is elastic cord. It is stretchy. I can show you how stretchy it is. And this is kind of like what I'll use to restring her limbs when I go do that. Because, simply because I don't really, I couldn't, the clamps were on there too tight because she's a pleasant company doll. See? So the clamps were on there, too, little metal clamps were on there too tight, so I just had to cut them off. I'll probably just tie knots, and I had, like, some rubber bands that I could cut, but this is just a lot higher quality. It was kind of expensive. I think it was $5, and I only got free feet. So, 
That was expensive. The dye was originally five dollars, but Hobby Lobby always has coupons, so we used a forty percent off one, and I think it was free nineteen. So still pretty expensive, but that's kind of what you bargain for when you buy a TLC doll to customize. I'm just kind of glad because I think I'm gonna use her wig because it's kind of cute now and it fixed up really, really nice. So I'm probably, but I did see a wig at our first store, so I might go check that out. Yeah, someone donated a Monique doll wig to the first store. I didn't buy it because it's like a white boyish wig. It's the same one Dolls in the Rain used. I don't know if it was Monique, but I kind of want to go buy it. Like, when we see it, I think it was 50 cents, and I feel like that's something I need. I know it was for 18 inch dolls because it said American Doll Wig. Yeah, um, I don't know why I didn't buy it. I didn't have money. I was saving it for... Molly, whose wig's over there. So, my SD card has 20 seconds left. Goodbye. Too bright. Oh. Oh. I wanted to film here because there's pretty lighting, and now there's not pretty lighting. And it's just ugly. So, this is her hair. The hot water dunk. It's dried after the hot water dunk. It's very soft. I wish you guys could feel how soft it is. It's very soft. It's very shiny. It's a lot less brittle. Her wig was very brittle, very dry. It's very new doll sailing. I love it. It's very soft and silky. That's her head. I added a teeny bit of blush paint on the side. You can't really see it. I don't know why I did it. I just wanted to show you how beautiful this wig is. Also, when it's on her, she reminds me of Jill and Kirsten. And it's kind of scary how much her head reminds me of the Avedon from Aspen Heights. If you watch Aspen Heights, comment Aspen Heights. Or, oh my cow's potatoes would be good too. So, yeah. Those little bulges are what you have to push on to ice wall. In case you're wondering. Okay, so I'm trying... And I'm already spilling. I got a funnel, so I wouldn't spill, and I spilled. I, is the camera lens thing over? Because that would be bad. Okay, I'm not all the way there yet. I'm scared. I'm very scared. People say it went well, so... Do you want me to pull the funnel? No. My little sister's filming. Shout out to her channel. It'll be linked. Ow! That's hot. Yeah, you spilled some on my foot. Sorry. It gets soft. I'm just scared that I'll pour too much water because that's what I do. I'm very scared. I have a rough spatula because that's what people say works the best. Almost there. Pour a little bit more. That was a lot. A little more. A little more. Is it still going? too much. I'm going to set this aside. Don't have to be that close. I'm just going to put this here and then I have the wipes that I'm going to put over and I'm going to let it set for three minutes. I'm going to go set a timer and I'll be back. Bye. Take two. Water wasn't hot enough this time. It's steaming this time. That's scary. That's scary. I'm gonna 
fix it and push. Part, so that's kind of hard. Spatula, extra bowl, towel, so I don't break it. And a G tube because it's a necessity for life. Watching the knives, ranking every doll I got to anybody. So, yeah. Just a little reminder the most important part when you're eye swapping is not to let the clear glass part hit the metal part for too long or it will melt it. These are both cooled off and just. Oh, and the head to dry and cool. It's still rather warm and squishy, and I like it. It's nice. And yeah, I don't know why I always say that at the end of my video. So, just gonna give you a cute update. I didn't actually film the dyeing process because I didn't think I needed to. I actually thought it would be a really long, really stressful process that I wouldn't really like. My parents and sister are in the background, it's Sunday night. So, this is what she looks like now. She is so beautiful. Um, the lighting isn't the best here because the lighting's kind of orange, but she is, let me kind of move it somewhere, such a beautiful color. She's kind of a little bit lighter or darker than Addie. Like, she's not the same. And there's just a couple things I want to point out about the whole dyeing process. One, the color. Will it focus? is a lot lighter and inconsistent in some faces than the American Girl painting. Also, I thought for sure it would cover up the number four on the bottom of her foot, but it didn't. And all the scuffs are a lot more noticeable now, but it's fine. I love my beauty. I guess she had some scuffs on her cheeks, because they're pretty showable. And her nose scuff, but her teeth stayed white, and that's great. Her body looks a little darker. But I'm pretty sure it will get lighter once it dries, and I didn't take the next string out. I didn't really want to hassle of getting it back in, but I'm okay without having a white next string. I think it'll look better in photos. Don't do this somewhere you don't want to stain. These are stains. They're not going to come out. This is the sink. And it's very stained. So I would recommend doing this outside and waiting until like after winter's over. But, oh, do I love her? <laughs> I have a name, I think, picked out. I'm gonna film myself in the mirror like all the cool kids do. But she is beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna end up piercing her ears, but I might give her hoops, and she is lovely. I love this girl. <laughs> I can't wait to put her together. I love her. Um, so, yeah. This is her parts.